Twenty-five years ago, Habitat for Humanity of St. Joseph County built its first house in South Bend, beginning its tenure of building affordable homes for partner families. Since this beginning, the lives of many in our community have been changed through home ownership. Habitat is working with the 25% of the population that currently lives in South Bend, that's living in poverty, and we're reaching out to come alongside of them to give them hope and to help them move, hopefully, from poverty to middle class. That's the role that we play. Uh, Habitat homes uh, have, uh, I think, created and instilled a new sense of pride in neighborhoods. Uh, people see an investment uh, we are uh, not only tearing down older homes or older structures or vacant or abandoned uh, facilities, we are replacing those with homeowner occupied homes. So I think it, it makes a difference certainly in the individual lives of the family that becomes homeowners rather than renters. It provides stability in their lives. It, it makes a difference in the neighborhood. For most of these families, children are involved and to get that stability of a home and not having to move from place to place to place is, has a huge impact on that and future generations and people that are going to be part of this community in the years to come. If you really start to think about how difficult it can be to move yourself out of a situation and how Habitat, by giving a hand up, not a handout, you know, uh, with their interest-free mortgage, just really makes home ownership possible for families. You know, it's just so many things along the way that was just, just helping us, you know, and that's all we needed was just a break. We just needed somebody just just give us a little help, you know, we just, and we can do it. You know, we bought our first house for $500 down, um, and we had family help, though, and, you know, I think, what about, how do we become family to those who don't have that help? Habitat is not a handout because I have a mortgage to pay every month and on time so that money can help build other homes. Habitat's mission is sustained not only through financial investments from individual and group sponsors, and funds generated from the ReStore, but by volunteers working together with the partner family to build a home. Without volunteers, this wouldn't happen. It's heartening to hear these are, these are people who work in our community. They understand how the village helps one family, and they want to continue being part of that if they can, because uh, many hands make work lighter. But we all love Habitat. We love what it represents and how families are helped, but we want to see this continue for another 25 years. We've had a great 25 years, but we look to the next 25 years. And sustainability is really the key. How do we continue to help more families? How do we continue to do a better job of providing housing, affordable housing? And how do we pay for it? That's always the issue with nonprofits. How do you find the funding? And that's why I'm so excited about the concept of the ReStores. The life of the ReStore with the Habitat for Humanity affiliate is about raising funds. Um, funds that individuals don't necessarily feel like they're giving to Habitat because they're either donating things that they no longer need that are still usable or they're coming to find a reasonable price for an item, a home improvement item of or a piece of furniture that they're in need of. And because of that, we're able to raise money to give back to the affiliate to build more Habitat homes in our community. As we recall our past 25 years and celebrate 150 houses, as we honor our partner families who are now proud homeowners, as we gather volunteers to build 13 new houses this season, as we reach out to partners in this community to help us fund these houses, we harbor high hopes. We renew our commitment to those seeking stability in their lives through homeownership. It is their future in which we have invested, and it is their future to which we are committed.